Howdy and welcome to another video edition of Remedy Land. Today I want to talk to you about VVI Pacemaker. VVI Pacemaker is the most common type of pacemaker. VVI Pacemaker is a medical instrument that allows the heart muscle to work properly. In the surgical procedure, a specialist cardiologist, incorporating VVI pacemaker into the chest wall and VVI pacemaker with wires connect to heart in the right upper heart chambers or on the right ventricle. The role of VVI pacemaker that in the event that a heart is slowing down, or stop, sends an electrical impulse to the right ventricle and activates the heart. Electrical impulses from the right ventricle passes to the left ventricle and thereby runs the blood flow. When the heart is damaged by a heart attack or when heart block occurs, the heart loses its role as the natural pacemaker. VVI pacemaker may be needed if conduction between the upper chambers and the ventricles or atria and ventricles is lost. VVI pacemaker means, V for ventricle paste, V for ventricle sensed, I for pacing is inhibited if beat is sensed. VVI are only the first three letters of the code system of 4,5 or 6 letters of the coding system. Other letters indicate changes in the VVI pacemaker, depending on the modulation rate or cardiovascular changing demands of the heart. The fifth letter if there is one is related to the function of anti-tachycardia. This type of pacemaker can cause in some patients pacemaker syndrome particularly in patients with synotrial disease more than with atria ventricular disease. VVI pacemaker could cause retrograde ventricular atrial conduction which leads to nausea, low blood pressure and fatigue. Pacemaker syndrome is caused by atrial cannon waves as a result of simultaneous atrial and ventricular contractions. This causes the blood runs the wrong way and the heart production falls. This condition causes by VVI pacemaker can be resolved by reprogramming the pacemaker or replacement for a dual chamber pacemaker. VVI pacemaker is not sufficient when the ventricles are not able to beat together in the cases of congestive cardiac failure and then dual chamber pacemaker is required. Possible problems during installation of VVI pacemakers are collapsed lung, infection, pericarditis, air embolism, blood storing in the pleural cavity and others. After surgery, the patient's vehicle licensing agency informs that he has a built VVI pacemaker and therefore they issued him an appropriate driving license. You need to avoid the stress of exercise 3 to 4 weeks after installation of VVI pacemaker, after that the patient can continue with most physical activities, but should be careful not to damage the pacemaker. I hope you've enjoyed this video edition. We'll see you again on another video edition of Remedy Land. Take care.